you a call, you can also just walk in and get just a bar seat or something. Drop his name. Seriously, this is Mr. Sarasota. Just drop his name. He's got cops on the payroll. He's got everything. You can't get us in there? Well, yeah, if I'm with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> can I have one of your cards? It's messed up. I know this guy. A baseball card. <laughs> he told me just to show you this. He said this is good to go. <laughs> Big believer in long toss. Big believer. So as much as you can, you get stretched. Even if it's only for a few throws, stretch it out, man. Get a guy way out there. And it builds arm strength, and then you got to keep that arm strength through the whole season. So I always long tossed every day. Me and Mike Bordick would long toss every single day. So my arm always was healthy. I always never had arm problems. So I think it helps in, in two different ways. It keeps you strong, but it also helps the health of your arm. Because if you're just flipping the ball around, flipping the ball around, and all of a sudden you got to make a do or die play, a do or die throw, and you overextend that thing, that's when stuff pops. So make sure you uh, keep it strong. When you go from the minor leagues and a developmental, oh, to now it counts. Every swing, every run, every game counts. And now my error's on TV in front of five million people. Yep. Oh, dang. What if I throw this ball away? I'll be on ESPN tonight. <laughs> throw one away in AAA, nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> Big leagues, you suck! You're terrible! <laughs> And always, you know, on an outfielder, I always thought and I always practiced trying to skip the ball. One hop, you know, a long hop to him. Because as an infielder, I played both. So infielders, that short hop's a, a nightmare. So everything I did out here, just that one nice long one hop. Obviously in a game, it's going to be different speed. And if you've got a runner coming out, you're going to go all the way, which is fine. But uh, just try to, especially when you got even nobody on base. And you want to try to throw it all the way in. Well, if you over, overshoot the guy, he's going to go to it's a nice one skip all the time. Ready? <laughs> no, that's good. Perfect. Yeah, these starts you had from 15 feet should be the same start you have from 225 feet. Because like you just said, it's really, really hard to speed up to catch a ball. When you start off as hard as you can go, you can always slow down. You can always slow down. If you've started off at 75%, you can't make that distance up. And that's when we miss balls. And that's when we have to overextend to get balls and we're not in a throwing position to keep the runner from advancing. So as fast as you can go, it's, it's not that tough, guys. There's not that many plays in the outfield during a game. It's not like we're telling you to overtax yourself. You're gonna be tired and you're gonna be worn out by the end. It's like those first burst a few steps and that's, that's the key. That's the key for everything. Minor leagues is developmental, you know, and it make your mistakes and learn and, you know, grow. But when you get the big leagues, it's no, now, tonight. Exactly. You got to do it right now. There ain't no off at bats. There's no off games where you go, it's okay. You know, nice. No, you got to win. I think that. No, that weighs, that weighs, that weighs. You know, I always talk about, you know, pressure is all self-imposed. So when you talk about pressure, what is it? Can you explain it to me? It's nothing tangible. But when I think of pressure, I think of, all right, I'm thinking of something else <clears throat> rather than exactly. in the moment. Yeah, so when you're in the big leagues, oh my God, you're in the big league clubhouse, whoa. <laughs> it's overwhelming. It's like, man, I'm here. Well, I got media in my face. I got fans yelling at me. The best players are able to separate all that out. And still, when they get between the lines, it's just baseball. Everybody puts their pants on the same way. George Brett told me that. That's what he told me, he goes, I, I put my pants just like you do. I do the exact same stuff you do. The game that you just played in AAA is the exact same game we're playing right here. Remember this, it takes no talent to hustle. It takes zero talent to hustle. Everybody here has the potential to hustle as hard as they can every day. People notice that. And you don't want to be labeled early on in your career, especially when you're young. It happens. Eh, he gives about 75%. I don't know if I want him on my team. Just remember that. All, someone's always watching you. Always. Doesn't matter where you are. If you got a uniform on, somebody's watching you and taking notes. When you got two guys that are converging on a ball, be smart about who's in the better throwing position too. So you can be, I, I got this, I got this, I got this, but if you're off and the other guy's gonna be in a good throwing position, let him have it. Back it off and if there's a guy on base, he's got a better chance to make a good throw. So don't overextend yourself because you think you can catch it, but now I've got a flip turn or make an off balance throw when the other guy is gonna be in good position, throwing position. And communicate during the game too. Like if whoever's playing center field and you think your left fielder should be over a little bit more, hey, 
come on this way a little bit and communicate with each other. Because the better position in, that you're gonna be in as far as tracking stuff down is gonna be, you're gonna catch more balls. And when you communicate, it just gives you a little more confidence. Hey, we talked it out, now I feel better about the situation. Good job, fellas. Way to go, way to go. That's a wrap.